In today's episode of Bait Vault, I'm going to show you a favourite of mine, Strawberry and Corn Liquid Bait Booster. This recipe makes a great addition to any bait and mimics a commercial branded product. Corn and strawberry are two of the most used flavours in carp fishing, so it makes perfect sense to combo them up. To get started, you'll need a medium sized tin of standard supermarket sweet corn. Empty the entire contents of the tin into a medium sized saucepan. This is then followed by adding one cup of water. Set your hob to a medium high heat and boil the corn until the liquid in the pan has reduced by half. You should be left with a concentrated corn liquid. To separate the liquid from the corn, pass it through a sieve and discard the corn. As you can see, we're just left with the corn liquid. Leave the corn liquid to one side and give your saucepan a quick rinse out. Now add two cups of water. You will now need to get hold of one pound of strawberries or 400 grams. I picked these up from the local supermarket for around two pound 50. Remove all the stalks and slice into quarters or halves and set to one side. Start to heat your water up and reintroduce your corn liquid from earlier. Take your sliced strawberries and add them directly to the pan. You want the strawberries to simmer for at least 10 to 15 minutes. The strawberries will start to lose their colour and become soft as the natural juices leak out. As we did before, strain the strawberry and corn mix through a sieve into a bowl. Now go ahead and pour this liquid back into your saucepan. You will now need to add one cup of white sugar and stir over medium heat until all the sugar is dissolved. Allow to boil for five minutes and then turn the heat down. While this is happening, you need two heaped teaspoons of corn flour mixed with a small amount of water to remove any lumps. Once your corn flour is ready, turn the heat up and slowly add small amounts of your corn flour to the mix and stir well. You should start to see the liquid become slightly thick and take on a syrup-like consistency. Please remember that the syrup will continue to thicken when it cools, so don't overdo it. Once happy, remove from the heat and transfer it back into your bowl for cooling. As it cools, it will start to look like a syrup. A good test to see the thickness is to use the back of a metal spoon and watch how the liquid runs off. If you want to make it thicker, simply place it back on the heat and cook for another 5 minutes or so. To thin it, you do exactly the same but add more water when reheating. It's now time to bottle it up. I'm repurposing a sauce bottle which makes ideal storage and use for the attractant. Your strawberry and corn attractant will easily keep for 3 months if kept cool and out of direct sunlight. Remember the corn that we boiled earlier? Why not revitalize it in a ground bait and add some of your attractant? So there you go, an amazing sweet fruity corn attractant for very little effort. Show your support by subscribing to our channel today and to watch future Bait Vault episodes.